Hi, this is Theo from Pugablogs.com. Today I want to review the Microsoft Surface 3 tablet as a drawing tool from the perspective of an artist. This is not the Surface Pro 3, this is actually just Surface 3, the one that came out after Surface Pro 3. This is the smaller version with the 10.8 inch screen. In this review, I will talk about the hardware, I will talk about the drawing experience, how the stylus feels like when it's drawing on the screen itself. This video review is going to be a bit long, however, I have a text review as well. So if you want to save some time, you might want to just read the text review. The link will be posted in the video description below. So um, let's start and see what this thing can do. Let's talk about the hardware first. This is a 10.8 inch screen. The viewing angle is quite nice, except that it's very glossy. You can see that this is my reflection but note that the colors do not change much when I tilt the screen. So when you're drawing outdoors, if your lighting is behind you, you're gonna get something like this and it's almost impossible to draw on. But if you are drawing indoors, there's um, usually not a problem because the brightness of the screen will compensate for the reflection. There are two models for the Surface 3. One model comes with 64 gigabytes of storage with two gigs of RAM and the other one comes with 128 gigs of storage and 4 gigabytes of RAM. So the one that I have here with me is the one with 128 gigs of storage. I would recommend you get the version with the larger storage because when you install Windows OS on it, Windows is going to take up about 10 to 20 gigs plus you have to install other drawing software as well. And if you want to store big files on your computer, you are going to need the storage space. The ports on this side are the 3.5 mm headphone jack, the micro USB power charging port, the USB 3 port and the mini display port. So if you want to plug this tablet into an external monitor, you can do that with this mini display port. I'm going to demonstrate to you later on. This is the USB 3 port. This is very useful because you can use this to plug in your devices like a scanner, a card reader, your USB flash drive if you want to transfer large files but you don't want to do it through Wi-Fi or through downloading. You can plug in your USB flash drive into this um, port and you can transfer the files very very quickly. This is the micro USB power charging port. It uses those cables that come with Samsung and HTC phone. Um, so those are exactly the same cable. You can use those to charge this tablet as well. But when you're using those cables to charge this, um, this is very slow. Those cables are meant to charge phones. And when you are charging a tablet which has a larger battery capacity, this is going to take a very long time to charge. So that is one significant downside for the Surface 3. So on the back we have the kickstand. This is very useful. So you can put prop up your tablet up like this and you can put it like this without any additional accessory. So with the iPad you actually have to get an additional accessory in order to make your tablet stand. This kickstand comes in three position, one, two, and three. And you can close it, it's very easy to uh, use. Another big advantage of this tablet is this little port here. This is the micro SD port, so you can plug in additional storage if you want to. Like you can get 100 gigs of storage for $50, you can just plug the micro SD card inside here and it will read on the Surface 3. This tablet weighs 622 grams. The iPad Air is lighter by around close to 200 grams. So uh, iPad Air is lighter, but this is not so heavy. It's just 600 plus grams. So this is still quite light compared to laptops, of course. And the next thing I want to talk about is the Windows OS. When you get Surface 3, um, it may come with Windows 8, but you can get a free upgrade to Windows 10. So Windows 10 is just a version of Windows with better tablet capabilities. So 
with Windows, Windows is a desktop OS, so you can install a lot of desktop software onto it. For example, I've installed Photoshop, the desktop software, Adobe Lightroom because I do some photo editing. I also have Sketchbook Pro for the desktop version. I also have the SketchUp, the 3D modeling software. I have Mischief, the drawing software. So you can install a lot of desktop applications on this. In addition to that, you can also install tablet applications. So this is really good. You can install Sketchbook Pro for the tablet. You can get a tablet version to work on this. You can get the Wacom Bamboo app. So you can download all that from the Windows App Store. You can just find a lot of very useful drawing uh, applications. I'm going to talk about them more later on. So this is the App Store. It's quite easy to find things there. Note that when you buy the tablet, it does not come with the stylus. The stylus that is recommended for the Surface is of course the Microsoft Surface Pen. There are two versions. One is the Surface Pen, the other is the Surface Pro 4 Pen. So this one is the one that came with the Surface Pro 4 and this is the Surface Pen. This is the previous generation anyway. Regardless of which pen you buy, both can work on the Surface 3. The Surface 3 also, by the way, is a less powerful version of the Surface Pro. So um, there's the Surface and then there's the Surface Pro. So this is the less powerful version with the smaller screen. Let me just show you this pen. This is the Surface Pen. comes with two side buttons and a button at the back. They are not very customizable, so Microsoft limits how much you can customize the buttons. So if I want to say customize the button to have it undo in Photoshop, I am not able to do that. However, the tip is very nice. It's, it's a hard tip. It doesn't wobble like those Bluetooth stylus on the iPad. When it comes to drawing, I really like how the tip feels on the screen. This is Wacom Bamboo paper. So let me just choose a drawing pen. This is the Pen 2 in tablet. This pen has pressure sensitive, so if you press down hard, you will be able to see the lines thicken and thin with your pressure. This is not very obvious. Let me power up the other software that I use more frequently, Mischief. Mischief is a very nice desktop software. So um, let me just show you the same thing again. So if you press down hard, you can see the lines become thicker and thinner. The pen is quite sensitive. Now, even if you draw slowly, usually some tablets, when they draw slowly, they will have like jitter lines diagonally. This is not too bad. I mean, there are, there are some jitter, but Usually, I don't draw that slow. If you compare to other stylus, for example, this is the Adonit Jot Dash. Other styluses are going to have more jitter compared to the Surface Pen. You can see that this is very significant. This is almost unusable. But with the Surface Pen, you can draw slowly, but the jitter is not as significant as this. So this is almost unusable for drawing, but the Surface Pen, this is this is good. This is very good for drawing. Let me open up some files to show you some of the sketches that I have drawn with the Surface Pen on the Mischief software. So this is a sketch that I drew on the Surface 3. You may notice that there is a bit of a lag here when I'm trying to rotate the scene because this file is a bit big. This tablet does not have a dedicated graphics card so when it comes to things like this, it may get a bit slow but it's still usable. The thing is even when the interface is a bit slow, the strokes still come out very fast so there's almost no noticeable lag. It's very, very satisfying to draw on the surface with um, 
with this pen. So even though the interface is a bit slow when it, when you are when it comes to drawing, there is no lag whatsoever. So this is a scene of my auntie's place. I drew this with the pressure sensitive stylus. You can see that I can zoom in so up close and this is quite a big file because I drew in a lot of detail and this is what I can achieve with the surface pen when you oops let me zoom in close again I want you to check out the diagonal lines if there are any to notice if there are any like jagged jittering effect so you can see here the diagonal lines not so much jitter the ones here and the ones that are here so when it comes to drawing diagonal lines unless you are drawing very slowly the wobbly lines is not going to affect your sketch so um, that is something to take note of anyway when it comes to the slow diagonal line jitter wobbly effect um, there are two things that affect that one is your stylus and one is the drawing application itself sometimes the software will correct the lines sometimes it doesn't let me show you the accuracy of surface pen 3 and pen 4 the cursor is actually always directly beneath the pen tip so accuracy is 100% and when you go to the corner of the tablet there's no uh, strange thing going on so the accuracy is uh, spot on always 100% when it comes to drawing, there's some sort of a microsecond lag. However, the drawing experience, I would still consider it to be very smooth. I have never been frustrated drawing with the Surface 3 pen because of the speed. If you are using this to take notes, then you will start to notice the lag more. Because the strokes actually do not appear instantaneously as you move your tip across the surface. As for palm rejection, uh, palm rejection sometimes works, sometimes does not work. So I have to be careful of those stray marks like this. Let me move over to the Surface Pen 4. Surface Pen 4 has sort of a felt like rubber tip. And same thing, accuracy is 100%. And the tracking is not instantaneous, but it has never been a problem to me when I'm drawing. The experience is still very enjoyable. Again, see this uh, stray mark here because of my palm. So usually when I'm drawing, I will still have to lift off my palm when I'm drawing. There's no parallax error to speak of because the glass surface is so close to the display that's just behind. And anyway, this is a very small screen, so there's no parallax error of any sort. Battery life for this tablet is about seven to eight hours depending on your usage if you use very processor intensive software of course the battery life will get depleted much faster but if you are drawing occasionally um, for me this tablet can easily last maybe one or two days of drawing before i need to recharge it and i have no fear of bringing it outdoors to draw because well the battery life is not as good as the ipad air ipad air is still much faster um, i mean much longer in terms of battery life but this is still quite good when if you want to bring this out for a drawing the main downside to the battery area is really the charging time because the micro usb port charges really very slowly just now i was talking about this tablet not having a dedicated graphics card you can use very simple 3D software like SketchUp but performance is not going to be optimal. You can do it but the interface is going to show some uh, lag when you pan around the scene. So let me just open something that I downloaded from the SketchUp warehouse. The storage is SSD so it loads the software and also loads the files quite fast. So this is the uh, architectural rendering 
let me just pan around to show you so you can pan around using your finger or the stylus as well this is still considered quite snappy but when you start to add the textures when you when the scene gets more complicated than this this is going to slow down by quite a bit let me zoom in and take a look so that oh this this software actually supports a bit of touch features but you can see the lag that is coming in it doesn't respond as fast compared to a, a real desktop computer but it can be done anyway I will not recommend using um, SketchUp on this uh, screen because this is a bit too small and talking about small let me just show you how you can plug this tablet into your monitor this is a 27 inch monitor which is running now on Mac OS let me just plug out the display cable from my computer and plug it into the surface tree so once it it is plugged in you can see that straight away the screen will show up and this surface tree is now blank however you can still move it around using your finger or your stylus on the surface of this glass what this means is you can use this tablet as a drawing tablet when you're drawing on let's say the drawing software so let me plug in other stuff I'm going to use this surface, I mean this monitor as a USB hub because I have some connectors on the side here and this monitor is connected to my keyboard as well so I'm going to plug this USB port into the surface tree so that I can use the mouse and keyboard okay now I'm using the mouse on my table this mouse to rotate the screen so as the resolution becomes much higher this is going to show show you much more lag so the interface is not going to be as snappy as you are using it on a smaller screen but it can be done let me open up photoshop for example to show you photoshop is quite buggy on this surface tree by buggy i mean um the software is not designed for use on a, on a tablet like this so you can see some of the things coming I'm not sure what's happened I'm I don't even know what's happening right now oh okay I think I pressed the wrong button because um, this is a Mac keyboard this is the drawing that I drew in mischief earlier on I imported this into Photoshop so I can work on it later if I want to color things but notice how uh, notice the lag when it comes to panning the screen around also I realized that when I put my mouse cursor on the menus the, the wrong menu will come out so that is obviously a bug the other thing to note is these menus are incredibly small just like they are on the surface tree they are very very small so if you are using your stylus or your finger to draw on Photoshop it is very difficult because it is very difficult to click on the correct button or correct menu so Photoshop is a uh, it's not a good software to install on the surface tree so I will close this anyway you can extend the screen um, to just show the screen on this monitor or you can extend the screen to show on the surface tree as well as this monitor or you can mirror the screen so there are a lot of different options to do that let me show you how I can draw on the surface while the screen is on it while I'm using my monitor okay this is the software same thing you are going to get very smooth performance oops the, um, this is unlike drawing on Wacom tablet because the screen is so much smoother but it will get 
you really need to have some practice on it because uh, that's just the way it is with drawing on tablets like this but it can be done is Surface 3 a good drawing tablet? For me, yes, I really enjoy drawing on this tablet. Even though there is some microsecond lag or the tracking is not instantaneous, I've never found them to be an issue. Drawing experience to me is still very smooth. I have an iPad Air too. When I'm drawing on the iPad Air, I also see lag. So um, this is about the same as the iPad Air. However, the main advantage of this is the Windows OS. So you can install desktop applications, you can install tablet applications. So you can install a lot of different software. So that is a very, very good advantage. And also the USB port, and a mini display port and also this kickstand is incredibly useful i find it so convenient i'm always holding it like this when i'm drawing because um, if you're using other tablets i mean for me when i'm using other tablets i will hold the basil like this it can get quite uncomfortable and quite tiring after a while but with this kickstand uh, behind i can hold it horizontally or vertically for long periods of time without feeling tired so um, that is very helpful when you buy this tablet um, it doesn't come with the surface pen so there are two to choose from the surface pen the first version is the one with the hard tip and the second version which is the surface pen 4 comes with a rubber felt like tip which offers a bit more friction and better control however I feel that the one with the hard tip offers slightly better pressure sensitivity so you can get thin lines uh, more easily but um, both are good pens that you should definitely buy if you want to buy this tablet as a drawing tablet this pens I think each cost about US $50 anyway the tablet itself is significantly cheaper than Surface Pro 4 and it's really quite worth the money I mean for me I feel that it's really quite worth the money because there's so much function and the drawing experience is quite good so if you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. I uh, will answer as many as possible. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, subscribe for more art product reviews, sketching tips and techniques in the future. That's all for today's review. See you in the next video. Bye.